Well, hello, you wonderful humans. Today, we're going to be going over the complete list for the new Animal Crossing Series 5 Amiibos that are going to be releasing on November 5th. There's a total of 48 cards being released in this series. There are 24 NPCs, 8 villagers we've already had in the game, and a total of 16 brand new villagers to Animal Crossing. Now we are going to be covering all of the amiibos available in this new series, and the first thing that we need to get out of the way are all of the NPCs. Now there is pretty much every single NPC in Animal Crossing New Horizons, except for one. We don't have Oscar as an amiibo, which makes me really sad because I would have really loved to have Oscar in some of the areas in the Happy Home Paradise DLC. But regardless, we've got the Nooklings, we've got Abel, Sable, and Mabel, we've got Celeste, and of course, Blathers. We got Wilbur and Orville. We have two versions of both Tom Nook and Izabubu, which is really odd. I don't know why we have two versions of them. We could have had Oscar instead. We need justice for Oscar. The last 12 NPCs are a pretty good list. Of course, we've got KK Slider. We absolutely need to be able to have him on our happy home paradise. We've got CJ, Flick, Daisy May, Kix, Sahara, Harvey, Gulliver, Wisp, which is a very interesting introduction. When we were live streaming, a lot of people were wondering if we were going to be able to invite Wisp to the Happy Home Paradise, and it seems like we're going to be able to. Now, we've also got Lottie, Nico, and Wardell, who are all adorable NPCs, Nico being one of my favorite, an absolutely amazing NPC, and I can't wait to do some kind of builds involving Nico. Uh, but regardless, that is the complete list for the NPCs. Now we've got an absolute fire list of villagers that are finally getting their amiibos, and we've got eight of these. We've got Sherb, who is adorable. I've had Sherb on almost every single island I've made in Animal Crossing. We've got Renee, who I actually really like. She's on our current Tagalot Island. And of course, Raymond. Everybody loves him. Everybody wants him. And now you can with an amiibo. I actually got him as our campsite villager during our last live stream, and everybody lost their minds. We got Judy with the big old booty, who always loves to be where you're building. And she is adorable. I've had her on every island as well. Then, of course, we've got Megan, the big old cuddly bear. Dom, who I think I've had on every island as well and on my current island. Then we've got Adi, who a lot of people were really excited for in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've had her a few times as well. And then, of course, Sid. Now, the moment everyone has been waiting for, the brand new villagers. And these are pretty amazing. We've got 16 to go through, and we're going to go through them one at a time. The first one we're going to check out is Faith. She's number 448, and we don't know what kind of personalities these are going to have. If I were to guess, I would think maybe she would be normal or peppy. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know what you think in the comments below for the personalities for these new villagers. Uh, but Faith is pretty adorable. She looks like she is perfectly ready for a happy home paradise island and i'm actually really excited to get this koala i there's not many in the game that i have really liked but she's adorable now we've got roswell with a birthday of may 2nd definitely looks ready for a vacation as well with that nice pineapple shirt i've never been a big fan of the alligators but i kind of like this one i think it might be cranky but definitely no way to tell until we talk to them for the first time. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get this one personally. Let me know if you like Roswell. Now we've got the absolutely adorable rhino, Azalea. And she is basically an Azalea. She's got the little petals on her nose and her horn is the center bit of the flower. Looks like she's got another one on the back of her head. And then her shirt, it's an Azalea shirt. She looks adorable. Her birthday is December 18th. And if I were to guess, just judging by the eyes, I think she's going to be a snooty villager. Azalea is definitely making it on my list of villagers that I would like to invite. If not to my island, then definitely to the Happy Home Paradise. Now, no new Amiibo series would be complete without a new doggo. And of course, we got a nice bright orange one named Fret. He looks pretty excited just to be existing. And his birthday is October 30th, so close to Halloween. Um, 
I don't know how to feel about this one. He's kind of just like, the more you stare at him, the creepier he gets with those eyes and big eyebrows and that little smile. Kind of like, the more you stare at it, the more it feels like he's just staring into your soul and it slowly becomes a little hypnotizing. And now that I keep staring at it, I really need to stop. Birds. Did we really need more of them? Well, Nintendo certainly thought we did. And we've got Rio, who was born on September 10th. She's actually kind of an adorable bird. I feel like there's a couple others that I like more than Rio. I don't know what her personality type is. Something is kind of telling me snooty, but I, I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Let me know what you think. I don't know if she's going to make it onto one of my happy home paradise islands. Maybe I'll buddy her up with like Fret or somebody else because I would like to get all of the new villagers. So maybe we'll just buddy them up and make some roommates for the ones that I'm not a big fan of and we'll force them into close quarters. Speaking of birds, I really hope you wanted more because we've also got Ace, who was born on August 11th. And I don't know how to feel about this one. I've never been a big fan of the birds to begin with, so I suppose I'm a little biased. What do you think about Ace? Do you want to know what's worse than birds? Ant eaters. Now we've got Zoe, whose birthday is February 10th. You know what? She kind of looks dazed and confused, and I like that in an ant eater, I guess. Uh, I actually kind of like Zoe. There's not been really any ant eaters that I like in the game, but I know some people are big fans of them, and I think Zoe's going to make it onto the list for a lot of people. Now, y'all know I love me a penguin. I don't know how to feel about Chabwick, though. Chabwick, that sounds like a jock name. I do not like jock villagers. Chabwick's birthday is December 24th. Got a big old belly button, a lollipop, and looking like he's going to ruin all of your dialogue. When it comes down to birds, eagles are the best, and Quinn looks like a particularly good eagle. I think Quinn is definitely making it onto the list of villagers that I'm going to be bringing, if not onto the island, then to the happy home paradise. Birthday is January 20th. I have no idea what the personality type for this one's going to be. Next up, we've got Marina, who got abducted by aliens and turned into a robot. They have the exact same pose. I'm pretty sure they copied Marina and made her into a robot. Cephalobot is definitely going to be making it onto the island. Birthday is April 1st. I like the robots, and I'm interested to see what an octopus robot's going to be like. Ah, uh, Mouse Boy McCheese Thief. Good old Petri. Born October 23rd. Actually, a mouse that I'm going to invite to the island. I haven't liked a single mouse in Animal Crossing. This one, I'm kind of fond of. I'm probably going to invite him into like to be a teacher or in the doctor's office. One of those definitely is going to be where Petri is going to go. Uh, the sassy nugget himself. Every time you talk to him, he's going to be quoting his favorite poets, trying to sound super duper intelligent. We've got Marlo. Birthday, June 26th. I like Marlo. Marlo's going to be on one of my islands. I promise. Everybody knows her, everybody wants her, Animal Crossing is all about Shino now, Raymond, you're done, nobody loves you anymore, you're disgusting, Shino has taken over as the most wonderful villager in Animal Crossing. Monkey. I don't know how to pronounce his name, Tian Chang? I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> August 18th is the birthday, looks like a happy little dude. I actually kind of like this monkey, there's not been very many in the game that I have liked, and I think might make it onto the island. Now for my new favorite, Ione. I think that's how you pronounce it. Beautiful squirrel, space themed, which means I absolutely need to have her. Hashtag Squirrel Island is making a resurgence. I want like, I just want an island full of Ione. Now last, but certainly not least, Sasha who seems to maybe be a jock villager, because every villager I've seen that wears that particular school shirt is a jock, which is interesting. Birthday is May 19th, which is actually really close to mine. Looks absolutely adorable. Does not look like a jock. I have no idea what the personality type is going to be here, but I know a lot of people are in love with Sasha, and I am as well. Going to be maybe the second Bun Bun to ever make it onto my island. But that does do it for all of the villagers coming to the Amiibo Series Vive. I do hope you all enjoyed today's video. Let me know who your favorites are in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next one.